Today I'll be using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation in Golden Natural and I'll be applying it on with my Beauty Blender. After that I'm going to conceal and highlight my face using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer in Vanilla. And with highlighting and concealing, I just apply it to the areas that I want to bring forward. And this is going to help create that nice natural glow. So I always do it under my eyes and I sort of do like a triangle like so. And same with the other side. I also have some redness under my nose, so I'm going to conceal there. Also, I like to bring my chin forward a little bit and just apply it underneath here. And lastly, just on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose. Just the thin line for the nose. So I usually do it about there and do a little dot at the end. So I'm just going to blend it into my skin and I'm just using a tapping motion because I don't want to shift and move the concealer too much. And can you see once it's blended out, it creates more dimension to your face. So this part is the lighter part and then later we're going to go in and contour. So that's going to recede and sculpt the face. Cool. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to contouring. Today I'll be using drugstore products because a lot of you guys have requested that I use more affordable products. But I'll also be pointing out the um, higher end, more expensive product that you can use as well. So today I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This one is a stick one and the color is Toffee Caramel. So this is an actual foundation because I couldn't find any cream contouring products but it's just going to work the same and it's pretty affordable. Now if you want a high end product I recommend the Stiller Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo. I like to use the colour medium. With contouring it all depends on your face shape and which areas you want to pull back and recede. So if there's a certain part of your face that you don't like, say your nose is you think it's too big and you want to slim it down, you can slim the sides down. And same goes for your forehead, for your jawline, but basically the ideal face shape is the oval face shape. So if you just draw an imaginary oval on your face, like so, anything outside that oval you can pretty much contour if you're going for the ideal face shape. Otherwise, you can just customize it to your own face and hide the areas that you don't like or bring out the areas that you do with highlighting. So each person is going to be very different. Today I'm going to show you guys on my face shape and what I would do to sort of define and sculpt my face. It could be different with your face though, so keep that in mind. I always like to start contouring underneath my cheekbone. Now everyone's face is different and and a lot of people like to do the fish sucking face like so and they find where their cheekbone is and just place it into the hollows where that gap is and you usually just contour there another trick that i like to do and i find that it's easier because when i do it on clients sometimes getting them to do the fish sucking face isn't isn't the best I'm going to start off at the top of my ear and visualize a line coming down to the corner of my mouth. So that's the line that I want to contour, but I'm going to stop where my pupil is so then I don't look too sucked in. So I'm going to do that now. So I've just stopped where my eye line is and this could be a little bit thicker if you want a really contoured look but basically the thickest part should be towards the ear and the thinnest part should be near the mouth so it should sort of taper. Cool. So keep in mind that if you go too high or too low you can look out of proportion so just make sure you remember that tip of the ear to mouth line. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same with the other side. Next I'm going to move on to my forehead. Now I always like to sort of contour around the perimeters. So this part doesn't have to be very neat because I'm going to blend it but basically I just like to do the perimeters and also shade in the sides a little bit just to make my forehead look a bit smaller. Cool, I look sort of crazy but that's the look I'm going for. 
Now I'm going to move on to my jawline and what I like to do is just follow my jawline. So I always want to start off in the corner and do the other side and just follow along there. Now if you want that really defined V shape and make your um, jawline a bit more um, slimmer, you can also just bring that contour up a little bit. Finally, I'm going to contour my nose. For this, I'm not going to use the stick directly. I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to use my Sigma Large Shader Brush E60. And I'm just going to grab some of that product onto my brush. Now for this, you want to use a flat synthetic brush because we're using cream products. And I'm going to draw two lines on the sides of my nose. So the closer that I draw those lines, the slimmer my nose is going to look. The further apart, the wider my nose will look. So I want my nose to look fairly skinny. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I usually start off at the eyebrows and then just draw those two lines down my nose. So a good trick if you want your nose to look lifted is just to apply a bit of that cream contour underneath. And if you feel like you have wider nostrils and want to make them look a bit smaller, you can just apply a bit of that contour on the sides. Cool, so I look a bit crazy, but that's the look I'm going for. Now it's time to blend it all out. Keep in mind that when you contour, you can obviously blend as you go, so you don't have to map out your face completely first. And it depends on the products because some products dry quicker than others. This one is still blendable though. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my beauty blender and just blend it all together. Again, when I'm blending, I don't wanna move and shift the product too much, so I'm just gonna use tapping motions. When you blend the contour around your forehead, make sure you just blend it up into your hairline so there's no gaps. Now, when it comes to blending out the nose, um, I find that the Beauty Blender can be a bit too big for that area. So what I like to do is just grab another brush. Today, I'm using the Sigma Medium Angled Shading Brush, E70. So this is a bit fluffier than the flat brush. And what I'm gonna do is just soften that line out and use this brush to blend it. So then I get a more precise nose contouring and don't forget to blend the nostril area out. Once you've blended out the contour lines, you would notice that your face looks more sculpted and possibly even slimmer looking. So you can just go ahead and set your base and everything on top with a translucent powder. Or if you really want to amp up the contouring a little bit, you can go in with a bit of contour powder to set the cream areas. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do that with the Maybelline Master Sculpt. So this one here is the medium dark shade. Now it does come with a little brush, so I'm just gonna dip that into the dark areas and just a little bit of that, not too much. Basically, I'm just gonna apply it over the areas that I applied the contour. So that's just gonna help set it and make the makeup last longer. So once the contoured areas are set, I'm just gonna apply a bit of the highlight shade onto the high points of my face. So I just apply it on the areas that I conceal. And that's pretty much it. Now let me just show you the before and after so you guys can see the difference. So that's it to this tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed another one of my videos. Please leave any comments and suggestions for future videos below. Maybe you guys want to see like some more smoky eye makeup. So maybe this green smoky eye. If you want to see it, comment below and let me know. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to